What kind of person do you think works on the ferry? Somebody that's a bit crazy, a bit loose in the head. <laughs> I don't know. There's a specialist sort of job and a lot of the wives don't like it or didn't. It's better now. When we used to sleep aboard two nights a week or three nights a week, then a lot of wives were keen on that. But you have to be a special sort of extrovert, I suppose. You couldn't do a free running ferry here because there's a tide. It runs very hard. You've got more than one tide a day, not like the most silly seaside towns. Just to change straight across when they lay on the bottom of the water. And the chains then are picked up by the ferry on a large driving cock and pulled up and through, and that drives us along. Years ago, we had lots of problems, electrical problems, and I didn't like anything beating me, and that would be it. Half an hour or so, it's got really bad with the uh, well, you've just seen what it's like then. It's, uh, you'll get the bar fleur coming through in a minute, and she'll, you know, she'll be, she's got the same problems, you'll hear her tooth going again. So. Yeah, control, but we're 15 minutes for the filming. It'll be, it'll be worse this afternoon, about four or five o'clock, when all this stuff's yeah, gone out. Yeah, it's been 15 minutes, all right? Since, what, uh, nine o'clock this morning. Yeah, it's been 15 minutes, all right? 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 Yeah, it's been 15 minutes, all
ebbing out now, which is probably going out, and it's the strongest point. So everything is coming, what I've got to watch for now when I'm going across, is everything coming from the harbour side, outwards, they've got the wind and they've got the tide with it, so you have to give them that bit of extra. Everything coming from the seaside, they're going against the wind and against the tide, so they've got really less control of how fast they're going, so it gives me that bit of it to, to get out easier. So they don't do their homework and they, you know, a lot of them come in, they don't realise it's such a strong tide. Well, we normally stop like we are now and see what's happening to him because if, if, if we carried on and he falls off again and the tide's taking him outwards, it's going to take him into us. So uh, what we do, I'll, I'll wait here in fact until he's cleared it, which he looks like he's going to, and then we can proceed again slowly. Now he's down again and as you can see the tide, as soon as he's down, the tide's taking him straight away. Whichever. What's he's he got, doing now? He, I don't think he knows now. <laughs> he's just trying, trying to find his balance. And... Are you sure you didn't plan all this? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to try and... Uh, he's now in with the tide. And we've now crossed again safely, thank goodness. We've got a lot of wood on this ferry, so we always keep touching it. <laughs> this is my third summer here now, and um, until you've had a go at it, I've, I've, I've been self-employed before, I had a green grocery business, and um, doing this is absolutely incredible. Hi, chaps. I think you're in for a bit of an afternoon, Matt. Looks like it. Here's How many are you I'm sunk any, I'm trying. <laughs> there are there's some idiots in my school. Never mind, we'll sort them out. All well, nothing to report. Go on, Matt. See you tomorrow. Yeah, Mind your screw! Mind the chain chest there, just under the water. You want? Can you get off the chain? Because when we go, we're moving. They're a pain in the butt. What can you do? Sailors are sailors. I know what I call them, it's not sailors. Right. Days like this you could sort of do without it, I think. up right down to the toll gate. So I turn around and get back. It's crazy to turn around and go around. That's 30 odd miles. The, um, we've been away for the weekend, had a very pleasant weekend, and now we sit here waiting for an hour and a half to cross 120 metres of water. It rather takes an edge off it. Yeah, they should definitely build a bridge, make things a lot easier. I don't think you should ever replace something like this that's been running for years with a modern contraption like a bridge, you know. Might as well wait, might you? As long as we I can keep cool. I said on the way over, it's a pity it isn't twice this size. Well, they're going to make it bigger. Oh, are, are they? they? What, waiting for it? Well, it would be nicer if it was faster, especially with the heat, and once you've got some burn. Ferry of us, good afternoon. Well, I met my wife on the on the ferry initially. She used to go across at weekends to walk in, in the Purbex. About that time, which is a bit bit more romantic perhaps, I met um, 
an old school friend of mine and uh, he had been down the ferry road listening to the nightingales which are not common but they are around and uh, I thought she might be a bird watcher and might be interested so that was my key in you see to arrange a proper introduction and uh, she wasn't a bird watcher but she was fairly interested so we took it from there. A couple of years ago we were still probably in the in the la last century now we're almost in the next. Well, we want our new ferry, that's the most important thing. People say, don't you get bored, but you certainly don't get bored. There's always something, like yachts will bounce off the side or somebody will lock the car keys in. That's quite a common occurrence. And slam the door and there it is. So you're out with the sledgehammer waiting, but we always get in before we have to use the sledgehammer. I've always wanted to use a sledgehammer. Oh, the best one I can remember is one that hooked, hooked his anchor chain in our chain and couldn't release it and uh, the, f the ferry had to move but in moving away from it to let a big ship come through the, the our chain went down and upended the boat and it went straight straight up in the air like that with the two blokes on the top and then as the chain went down the boat went down with it it went straight down lovely <laughs> Tickled me to death, that did. One car on the slipway up there, we'll have to drive round. There's no one in the toll boxes over the road, up the other end now, so uh, service is finished. I think he's going to find out. Yeah, sooner or later, um, unless he wants to sit there until uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> yourself you give them back you know but, but uh, I, I, I think I've helped one or two people who come over with problems you, you know you, 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 you sort of like talk to them and help them in that way they get sand in their shoes on the beach and they decide to empty it out onto the ferry so every night we have to sweep and some nights it's, it's quite bad with sand probably more sand on here than on the beach 